everyone. This <laughs> this is Suzu, my dog. Suzu. <laughs> she is a rescue greyhound. Uh, we've had her for, for a couple of weeks now. She is very sweet, very mischievous, <laughs> very food driven, which makes her quite easy to train, but also <laughs> she's a bit of a <laughs> She's, uh, you know, she's a mischief maker, right? She's a bit of a mischief maker. Uh, she likes to sleep with her tongue out. She will quite happily, like, just lay all over you. She has no sense of personal space. So if you're in her way, she's walking into you. You know, beep, beep, get out of her way. Nothing is sacred. Nothing is safe from her. Nothing is safe from her in the garden. Uh, plants have bite marks, you know, the first thing she did when she went out was to eat my rose bush, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which I was a bit sad about, but glad I took a picture of before it went. She's very, very sweet, she's very kind, she's very pliable, you know, she kind of just doesn't, doesn't take much issue in, in anything, um, she's really lovely. Uh, I would have liked to have taken you on our kind of journey of, you know, adopting her. It was quite, it was quite a process. It was very quick as well. Um, I think we, we submitted not thinking we were going to get her and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, could you, t could you take her, like, you know, in four days? And we were like, oh, you know, shit. Okay. Um, so it was really, really stressful. Um, and then obviously when she first comes, there's a lot of readjusting both on both of our end. Um, she wants to be in everything. She wants to investigate everything. She wants to eat everything and steal everything. And she's not really sure what her boundaries are. So it was a really stressful kind of getting used to each other's lives. And it's still stressful. You know, she's still kind of pushes boundaries and she's really young um she's not even she's not even two yet uh so she is kind of still just this big big puppy that is so clumsy and scrapes herself on stuff and doesn't know how to use a big long legs and um yeah so it's, it's been it's been stressful but it's been it's been really lovely you know it's it's lovely seeing her enjoy things for the first time and uh, especially because of the hot weather she's been enjoying ice creams dog you know dog friendly ice creams and um yeah it's been been fun seeing her kind of get used to us and really start enjoying being with us and choosing to be with us not just because we dispense food but also because we dispense belly rubs too which we're a big fan of um, yeah, she's really lovely. Uh, she's quite anxious. She's quite an anxious dog. It took us a while to get her out. It took us a while for her to kind of get used to everything. Um, essentially, Greg has two of me now, which is great for him, because now we're both anxious. <laughs> we set each other off. And yeah, so it's been stressful, but it's been, I think she is kind of most of what we would have wanted from a dog, you know, you can never have a perfect, a perfect dog. Isn't she wonderful? Sad, happy, sad. Why is it she like this all the time? <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully she will feature on some streams when my office gets a little bit cooler so she doesn't overheat. And yeah, I hope you'll welcome her to the Captain Badgertail cinematic universe. And we'll um we'll see you in the next stream. Say bye Suzu. Bye. <laughs>